Hey there YouTubers, this is Chris from Ace First Class and today I'm going to be showing you Tribes Ascend. This is the closed beta, the official release should be coming soon, but yeah, pretty much this is based off of Tribes 1, Tribes 2, and Tribes Vengeance. It's a point and click shooter game that is really fun, it hadn't been seen in a long time, it's made by the same people behind Global Offensive, I mean Global Offense, and Smite. But, yeah, I'm gonna hop in right now and show you some stuff about it. As you can see, you have 12 classes. Classes are locked. You have two classes at the beginning, Ranger and Soldier. Then you also have the classes Juggernaut, Pathfinder, Infiltrator, Technician, Jumper, Sentinel, Scrambler, Raider, Brute, and Doombringer. Those classes are locked. You can unlock those classes by buying them with tokens. Tokens are actually pretty much currency that you get from playing the game and earning XP. And gold is actually something you physically buy. And then you have the Juggernaut, which has heavy armor, and you can see the ratings of it. It says mobility, durability, anti-armor, and range. They all vary. You also have class uh, perks. You have, I think, about 31 perks. Or something like that. I'm not going to stand there and count them. But, yeah. You also have the perks in slot 2. You can hold 2 perks per class and all the skills which are right here you can have a massive amount of skills to upgrade but they all vary depending on the person like Juggernaut or Ranger his per perks and skills are a lot different they also all have different traits on them as you can see his secondary weapon is the Thumper DX. His is a Eagle Pistol. And they also ha all have different style based explosives and assault rifles. They're really good for traveling and this is pretty much a free roam type of first person shooter. It's where the worlds are very lush, they're easy to go through, you have a lot of open ground, you can use jetpacks and you can ski through each individual map, and yeah, I'm going to hop into some gameplay right now and I'll get back to you in just a sec. You also have three match types for right now, Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and Rabbit. They will add more match types when the official release comes out. As you can see, there are two different teams, Blood Eagle and Diamond Sword. Make the sword of pay for that treachery. Now you can see that the game buffers out very nicely. You have the open land, like I said, and you actually have the moving vehicles. You have the planets that will actually rotate. You can see one over there. And as you can see, I have a crosshair. I cannot aim down my sights. You can use jetpack. I'm using skis right now. They just help you move around quicker. And I'll start using jetpack now. You have infinite amounts of jetpack power until your energy completely drains, but it recharges extremely fast. And pretty much what this is, is team deathmatch mode is each team starts off with 99 lives. Whoever loses 99 lives first loses. It's pretty simple based. As you can see, the secondary weapons and the graphics are really well designed, along with the primary weapons. You can see the environment. The environment's not destructible, which is not expected, but, you know. So, yeah, this is a pretty good game. It's got 
sort of a fruit look to it. If you know what I mean, it's colorful. I'll get back to you in just a minute. I'm gonna do a little bit more gameplay and then I'll get back to you on this, alright? can actually see the gameplay. I'm looking around, looking at the environment right now. The environment's really nice and lush. I really like the way that the maps are laid out. They give you plenty of ground to cover and even the background look is very nice. You can see that the planets are actually 3D so they're not flat or picture based. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just sort of messing around with this guy. He'll probably end up killing me, but you know how that goes. Let's get back to gameplay, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. As you probably just saw, the green light emitting from me is actually a recharging health. The recharge health takes, I believe, about 40 seconds and then it will activate. Well, this is about it. I'll continue playing for a little bit, come back here in just a sec, and we'll do the final adios.
Alright, well hey there guys, this is Chris back from Mass First Class, and well thank you for watching this video, and I'll have a link posted up in possibly later tomorrow, and it'll be right up in the top left corner, starting probably right about now, and it'll be a tutorial on how to get the beta key and play this game before it comes out, so you can see how you like it yourself. Alright. Well, see you next time, and thank you for watching the video.